Man, is it just me? I don't know. I just really enjoyed this movie. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little movie review on a movie called Whiteout from 2009. Now, I actually really like Kate Beckinsale as an actress, especially around this underworld time. And there's very few movies that are really, really good that just involve tons and tons of snow, in my opinion. And then you look at the rating and the rating is just so bad, so poor. And it's like, ugh, I don't think I could watch it. Very few times has a movie been good with this bad of a rating on IMDb. The biggest problem that people could see and that I would see is the bad CGI and it pretty much happens when they're in a plane and they're supposed to be going through like a thunderstorm or like a snowstorm it just is the worst most obvious CGI and it's 2009 you know and I would say most of the problems with this movie are in the editing room I don't know who edited it I felt like they didn't even hire an editor and somebody just randomly jumped in because literally I would say all the problems of this movie are in the editing room you could have gotten around the CGI you didn't even need to use it I mean you could have put people by a window and had it just snowing down better to do that than to use bad cgi and the bad cgi isn't throughout the whole movie it's just mainly in the plane scenes and unfortunately that is the opening scene and i actually watched like a minute or two of the opening and just really turned it off but once you get past that opening scene and you start seeing kate beckinsale in her camp area to me it was very very interesting from that point i felt like the story was pretty grounded and changed at like a pretty good pace um if you have the this big snowstorm coming into Antarctica and there's this one big last flight out if you don't take this flight out you're stuck at the Antarctic base for like six months so everybody's getting their things ready and I just feel like it was a nice everything built and changed at a nice pace I really enjoyed it this movie seems like it's gonna be more of an action adventure movie but it turns into much more of a mystery style movie and I watched it kind of expecting it to be an action adventure style movie. To me, I kind of enjoyed the mystery aspect a lot better. Some people said that, oh, it's so obvious who the mystery killer was. I mean, to me, I wasn't like trying to figure it out, but there's multiple people in this movie that aren't who they say they are. So I would be really impressed if you pause this movie at 30 minutes. Tell me the two people who aren't who they say they are. I don't think you're gonna guess it because there's lots of red herrings and again I feel like if you're watching it like I'm gonna figure this mystery out like you probably will have considered the bad people in this movie at one point but just watching it it was very enjoyable mysteries are one of my favorite subgenres, and this kind of turns into a mystery for some reason I enjoyed the mystery aspect I'm not gonna say it was the smartest mystery aspect but I gotta say I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed the kind of like snow environment I also saw someone on IMDb that's Said there's nowhere near enough Antarctic base type movies and I couldn't agree more the only one I could think of is the thing but it's just such an interesting concept and it just has not been explored just hearing the concept of this movie made me want to see it this movie almost didn't need the R rating now I do like the R rating there was a couple like I would say maybe jokes but besides that it really didn't need to be R rated there is some graphic scenes with some like frostbite and things like that but it just in my opinion it didn't need to be in this movie this movie almost has like a PG-13 tone because again it feels like this action adventure it doesn't feel like this like super deathly serious aggressive a movie it's kind of like this classic action adventure feel so it almost didn't need to be pg-13 but at the same time i do like when they hold nothing back and this movie was the most intense movie in the world but there was definitely an intense scene in the middle and this kind of comes into play multiple times in the movie but there's so much wind and like it's so intense like traveling between the camps it's like you have to hold on to this line when you walk from camp to camp so there's a scene in like the middle where she has to go check something out at the camp and then there's like a bad guy at wherever she's going and she has to like get back I thought that scene was super intense now they did have another scene later on at the end that was very similar but that one wasn't as intense for me but I got to say that scene for me was super intense there was some generic scenes in here the genericness wasn't bad maybe it was like five scenes but I did see a little bit of that but in my opinion, all the issues with this movie were in the editing room and just um, the flow of the movie. The finale too, that what happens to the, the final conclusion of the main bad person in here, it just wasn't as dramatic as it could have been. The flow of the movie was a little bit off and those CGI scenes just absolutely really killed it. For me, I really enjoyed this movie. If it was by Try or Pass, I would say a solid try. If I was gonna rate it out of 10, I'd probably rate it like a 7.5. If you took out those CGI scenes and took out a couple of those generic scenes this movie could have been a solid 8.5 
maybe up to a nine if you make the mystery a little bit better, get the CGI scenes out. I mean, I really like Kate Beckinsale and I really liked this whole idea. So anyways, guys, this movie was well worth watching and I liked it way more than I should have. To me, this is a buy. For you guys, I would recommend just to try. And again, it's kind of like, you're gonna see some dumb scenes and that CGI in the beginning, it's just, I get you. I don't know why they did it. 2009, they should have had better CGI or just not used it, I totally get you. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I just really enjoyed this movie. I can't tell you why. I see why everybody hates it, but I don't know why they hate it so much. Man, is it just me? I don't know. I just really enjoyed this movie to throw on. Um, it is summertime right now when I'm shooting this movie. Like it's the middle of July, so it's the absolute worst time to watch this movie, I guess, but I really enjoyed it. So let me know what you think of Whiteout from 2009, an interesting kind of action adventure thriller set in the deep cold. I gotta say, I enjoyed it, although I do see all the issues people had with it. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.